have a go at this guy. Oh, he's a 40. He's got to be high. Four. He's got to be a 40. Have a go. That is a horse. What's up, my favourite group of legends? Thanks for tuning in to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Now, on this one, we're going on a full-on whiting mission. Big whiting off the top, that's the goal. And I'm lucky enough to get connected to three of the biggest whiting I've caught all season. Really, really good fish. Now, there's two parts to this. The first one is a little afternoon wade. The next one, I get the kayak out and go explore some new territory. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Plenty more fishing action to come. New videos dropping every week. For everyone else, thanks very much for your support. Really appreciate it. Let's get stuck into some wading, eh? Got him. He just slurped that off the top. He's not doing much. Might be a brim. Oh no, it's a big thing. This guy's gonna go nuts in a second. This is a big thing. Real big thing. Here he goes. Fine up now. a good fish. Loosen that drag off. You can wait around. Just, those little trebles, you don't want to rush them, especially on a good fish. Oh, he's a good fish. Oh, he's a real nice fish. Oh, oh please come in. Look at that! Look at that snodger! Have a go at this guy! Oh, he's a 40. He's got to be high. Four. He's got to be a 40. Have a go! Have a go at that! That is a horse! That is a horse! Yeah, he's hooked all right. So I'll let him chill there and I'll just get out my measuring stick. Over here, mate. Let's get a measure on you. Oh, he's a big thing, real big thing. What's he gonna go? 37. That guy is an absolute monster. What a beast! What a beast! On the Mick Mullner Splash Prawn, I'm stoked with that. What a cracking whiting. What an absolute horse. Ew. Also the luckiest whiting in Australia, I'm gonna let him go. Well, uh, wouldn't want, I don't wish I had a cameraman or someone to take a photo for me, but I'm just gonna have to go a uh, bit of a selfie, I think. Fella, what an absolute horse. What a pleasure. Stoked! Yeah. I was paying attention. Oh, back behind it. This might be a brim here. This is a whiting. I'll be very surprised. The way they hit that, it was very brimmy. Oh my god. Can't see him yet. Still no visual. Oh, you're kidding. I think it is a tank. Another big tank. Oh, you're kidding me. 
Oh my oh. goodness. Another horse. This thing ate it like a brim. I paused it and it come up and smacked it again. That never happens with whiting. That's crazy. Two big ting in one session. Usually I only get one if I'm lucky. Oh, he's not as definitely not as big as the last one. Look at him, he's a solid fish though. He'd easy be 30. Oh, he's he's solid. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's a he's a good ting. I'm gonna have to get the measure out for this guy as well, I think. He's um he's worth measuring. Oh, it's in my pants. Right oh, you're kidding. He might go mid 30s. This guy, he's solid as. He's probably fatter than the last one. Oh, you're kidding. 36 and a half. 36 and a half. He is a massive thing as well. well that is a big one. Look at the width on him. That's my hand. This thing is ginormously wide. What a great fish. What an epic day. All the big dogs are coming out. I was just about to pack it up. Oh, don't you die on me, fella. Don't you die on me. You're prime for a lease, mate. Don't you die on me. That's two absolutely monstrous things. And I haven't caught any small ones. There you go, see you mate. You're on. Got a good ting on here. Missed the strike. I was not ready. I was just paddling up creek here and uh, thought I'd put a quick cast into this drain. This guy's come up and mashed it. He's a nice fish. Oh, he's a really nice fish. Really nice fish. Come here fella. Oh look at him. Let you stay on. Should have bought a nap. Uh, caught in the GoPro. And that is not bad. For first fish of the session, have a go at the size of that thing. That'll be another, I reckon, mid 30s. I'll chuck him on the measure real quick. But he absolutely belted that. He's a nice fish, real nice fish. Skinny, a lot skinnier than the other big ones I've got lately, but uh, he's nice and long. Let's get him on the tape real quick. Steak. 36. 36 centimetre ting. Real nice fish. He's a real nice fish. Molnar splash prawn. You bloody ripper. 36 centimetres. You. Luckiest whiting. I'm actually going to keep a feed today if I get a couple, but I'll let this guy go because he's the first. Unless he doesn't want to swim. See you, mate. 
Yes. Time to find some ting. I'd love a flatted on surface today as well, but look, my flatted on surface record is really poor. How's that wind? Not first cast, that's awesome. Love that. Fishing a creek section I haven't fished before. So who knows? I've got that nice whiting on the way up. So that inspires a bit of confidence. This wind knot does not. Love to get a nice feed of ting today actually. I let that first one go just hopefully as a bit of a uh, good karma thing. I'll be eating my words if I get two other eagles. Would have really liked that big one. It's not terrible flathead country either. Love to see a, uh, a flathead come up and buff off. Haven't had much luck on the surface flathead lately. Been giving it a red hot crack, but uh, yeah, haven't seen the results. Whereas the Phantom seems to get him every time he, he pops for whiting. Must be doing it wrong. Yes. Very interested to see what this is. It's got a fair bit of go. Oh, it looks like a big thing. Could be a little Trev. Be a tank, please be a tank. Is it? I think it's brim. Oh no, it is a big thing. Yes. He's not not as big as that first one. Just uh, hooked in the side. Phew. That was a cracking hit. Just come up and went doof. In a deep patch of water too. Alright. In you come. Oh, hooks out. That was lucky. That's a pain in the ass. Come back. He's in the water under my seat. Check out that guy. He's a nice quality ting. He's uh, on the scale. I think he might be a dinner fish. I think he's 30. Yep, he's 30. So he, he's coming home to get munched on, unfortunately for him. Cover behind it. Come on. Come on. Ah, swing and a miss. Oh, it's still there. Come on. Got him. Yes. Oh, no. Pulled out. Bugger. Looked like a nice fish. Moved a fair bit of water on the hit. Another hit. Oh. Bugger. Jeez, they're aggressive. Oh, I'll go on. What the? That's got to be a brim. Yeah. Oh, I looked up and there was a boil where my popper was and no popper. I was just trying to reposition the kayak so I could get a cast in at those other fish. A little tack of brim. Oh, that is a bad hook in the eye. Sorry, buddy. Oh. Okay, back in action. We had a bit of a battery failure there. This is him here. He's a nice, nice fish. He'd be, I'd say, 50 or so. And that was the sickest hit off the top. He um, absolutely crunched it. A little 
little surface lure, twitch, 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 come racing off the flat, and bang. And unfortunately for this guy, he is going to join the whiting in the feed department. I don't take a feed from the estuaries very often, so uh, I don't feel too bad doing it. But I still prefer to get my fish from offshore, but these guys will not be wasted, that's for sure. He's a great fish. Very happy with that. I said I wanted to get a, uh, a flathead on surface today, and I've accomplished my goal. Now let's just find an 80. That'd be sick. Got him. What is this? Oh, little Brimbo. He's towing me. Oh, bad technique. Might be an alright brim, he's having a go. No, he's not. Just a little tack up. Don't even know if you can see that with the uh, possible rain on the lens, but little brim come up and smashed it. I thought it was a whiting because he hit it on the full move, but it was not. Oh, good fish. Oh, I have no idea what this is. If it's a whiting, it's a real nice one. Oh, it is a whiting. Oh, yes. He crunched that. No prior hit or anything, just come up and boof. He's a nice fish. Hey, yeah, there. Oh. Not as nice as I originally thought, but. Oh. He's a good fish. He's a good fish. No complaints with him. I have to put him. Oh, reel in the water. Don't do that. I have to put him on the tape though. I'm not sure if he is uh, an ingredient or not. Yeah, surely. He's a solid little fish. He um he come and cleaned that up. Really nice hit on him. What's he go? Oh yeah, he's just short of 30, so he's coming home as well. Got him. Oh no, that was a good whiting. I watched him. Just when I thought I was done, turned the camera off, one last cast, and I got my uh, third whiting that'll round out my feed. Absolutely beautiful. That is, uh, that's a good little session. Pretty happy with that. Got the, uh, or five whiting, no, four whiting. Uh, missed plenty as always, and a um, few brim in the flatty. Not bad at all. And that's what I end up keeping for a feed, just the three whiting and the flathead. Those whiting, they're all around 30, 30 plus centimetres, so they're all good fish. That flathead, actually I should make, measure him now. I reckon he'll go 50. Oh, maybe 45. He's bent. Yeah, he, he'd go close to 50 once you straighten him out. There's, there's 50 there, there's 45, so he's 45 bent. I reckon he'd be 50... Um, 50 straight, I'll measure him properly when I get home, but yeah, nice little feed. I don't often keep a feed from the estuaries, but uh, it is nice to get a feed of fresh fish every now and again, especially with the weather the way it's been, so yeah, not a bad little session. Happy with that, all on surface too, how cool.
Well, how's that for some epic whiting action? A 37, a 36 and a half, and a 36, all on top order. And I've finally got that damn flathead I've been chasing for ages. Anyways, guys, thanks very much for tuning in, and I'll see you next week with a brand spanking new video. Cheers.